FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Yeah, we're not being paid by our head off. Oh, who paid you? Well, we're for Work in America, so we're... What's that? Uh, it's a non-profit organization. Non-profit organization? Yeah, non-partisan. Uh, not hardly. But welcome back to the Mark Cox Show. Uh, the audio you just listened to was captured yesterday afternoon in St. Charles County. So the issue here is the uh, Senate race in District 23 in St. Charles County. I just think it's important to know up front who supports who in this race for the Senate out there. It's important. Going to replace Tom Dempsey. And there's one of the candidates. That lady you just listened to was out there handing out pamphlets yesterday in support of Ann Zare over Bill Eigel. He was specifically mentioned in the literature. And I just thought it was important that we bring this to people's attention. Uh, we're joined right now by a state representative, Mark Parkinson. He is from District 105. Uh, he is not running for re-election, but he was out yesterday working on behalf of the gentleman that's uh, campaigning to replace him and on behalf of Bill Eigel, going door to door, knocking on doors. Uh, Mark, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me on, Mark. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you, you've, um, you're have you a lame duck now. Uh, you're not going to be reelected. Uh, did you term limit out? I am term limited out. Okay, all right. So so where were you yesterday in St. Charles County when this happened? We're in a uh, subdivision just uh, northwest of where I, I live out here in St. Charles County. And it's not uncommon to encounter or encounter a salesman, whether it be roofing, siding, pest control, or, or whatnot. So as we were walking up the street, I encountered a young lady, and she looked a bit lost. So she was looking down at her iPad and, and knocking on doors. So, you know, I, I don't want to, uh, to compete with um, siding salesmen putting stuff on doors. So I uh, asked her what she was doing, and she... Uh, she alluded to the fact that she was out campaigning for Ann Zare. And, and the reason that we bring this up is, is because the company, the, the, the organization she's working for, she referred to as nonpartisan, which I she thought did. was very interesting in that soundbite because you, all you did was hit the record button on your phone when you walked up to her, right? That's correct. That's how we got this conversation. Um, she is getting paid by... Uh, an activist organization out of Washington, D.C. that is an affiliate of the AFL-CIO. So it's a union group called Working America that's paying her an hourly rate uh, to go door-to-door -door campaigning for Ann Zare. Yes, and, and they, you know, it was obvious to me that she, she was getting paid by the hour because she wasn't moving very fast. <laughs> She's trying to wring as much out of it as she could, right? Exactly. Right. So I just wanted people to hear a little bit of this audio because the lady was trying to soft pedal it, but it took you guys uh, a few questions to kind of uh, narrow down on this. Let's let's get uh, audio soundbite number 27, Liz, uh, for this conversation yesterday with a young lady who was handing out these pamphlets uh, who said she was supporting Ann Zare but did not work for her. Let's go to cut 27. Is she a Republican? She is a Republican. However... Are you? Am I? No, I'm not party. <laughs> no party? No. Yeah, but who do you who do you use for? The person. Yeah. yeah. So in her case, she is Republican. However, she's quite different Republican yeah. because she uh, does things sort of not in the Republican norm. Like what? <laughs> well, for starters, she's the uh, what is the the uh, right to right to work. Uh, that union thing. Yeah. So and she's but, against that. Well, she is, uh, yeah, she's against it. So, you know, she's for, you know, union. So, Mark, the, what the lady basically told you yesterday is that she, she's working she's she's working for this pro-union group supporting Ann Zare because of the right to work issue and other issues. But the main reason they're supporting her is because there are no Democrats running and she's the closest thing they can find. Well, there are, in fact, two Democrats running for oh. the 23rd District. Interesting. So, but but you ask her specifically, didn't she specifically say in that sound clip, uh, I don't think it may have been one of the ones I used, that th there wasn't a Democrat running, so they had yeah, to support Ann Zare? She told us there, there were no Democrats running for the 23rd Senatorial District. And, and just, just to be up front, um, I have, 
invited in there on this program repeatedly since that it, particularly since the SJR 39 vote uh, because I wanted her to come on and explain why she voted to kill that bill before allowing the public to vote on it and she's repeatedly declined and this last time I emailed her a couple days ago and I have not heard back anything at all so I just want people to know this is not some hit job on Ann's air. I, I have asked her to come on this show repeatedly. I just thought people should know that there is a um, Republican running for the state Senate out there who's being supported by as if she's a Democrat by unions. That, that is correct. And, I, and I'm not surprised that she hasn't come on the radio with you. Those are pretty tough, uh, tough uh, positions to defend. Well, th- just a little more about working America. Uh, you guys also asked the lady a little bit about the group, and she described it as a nonpartisan group. But that's not uh, that's not the case at all. In fact, they claim on their website that what they the people they target are conservatives. They're trying to counter the the um, the Fox TV effect. Um, they, they, they're trying to counter what they call the Glenn Beck effect. And this is their words, not mine. Um, Work America operates to build a long-term movement on a progressive agenda and try to convert conservatives to their cause is what they, they claim here. Let me get to the last soundbite, Liz, that, uh, that they got with this lady yesterday talking a little bit more about what Working America is really all about. Hey, well, right now... Do you guys liberal? Pretty liberal. Uh, they kind of maybe somewhat are, but again, they don't do very, you know, to the party. It's just, yeah. you know, certain things that they, you know, it's, it's more of the causes and, you know, the things that they are fighting for. Uh, so it's definitely, you know, they're, they're union, so. Oh, so it's a union organization. Yeah. Huh. How about that? Yeah, but oh. Working America is, is known throughout the United States to have uh, probably, I would say, uh, main offices, you know, anywhere from Texas, Washington State, uh, based out of Washington, D.C. So. so a Washington, D.C. activist uh, organization out campaigning for a state Senate seat in uh, St. Charles County, Missouri. How about that? What was your reaction to that, Mark? You know, I, I was shocked, but, you know, not necessarily surprised that a, a union very liberal organization would be out supporting hands there. Unfortunately, that did not surprise me. Yeah. Um, and, and getting paid hourly to do it. Now, you know, I'm not saying the, the Zare campaign had anything to do with this, but I think it's important for voters to know when they go into this election on August 2nd, uh, who's backing who in this race. I mean, you were out handing out um, literature, uh, not only for, uh, g- correct his last name for me, uh, Phil Christofanelli. Christopher Yeah, who's running for the 105th seat, and also uh, Bill Eigel, who's running for the Senate uh, seat tw- in the 23rd District. That's correct. Yeah, good. Uh, well, Mark, uh, I appreciate you giving me some time today, and thanks for sharing this audio with us. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. It's a pleasure, and uh, thank you. welcome on the show anytime. Thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, there you go. I've told you as much as I know about it. I just thought it was pretty interesting when I heard that audio. Again, we, we've invited Ann Zare on the show. I've invited Bill Eigel on the show. I'm going to try to get him on next week um, just to talk about this before we get to primary time. We're going to try to have a number of the candidates uh, back on this show because I want to be as fair as possible. I want to get all the information out there. I've invited Kurt Schaefer. I've invited Josh Hawley. Um Let's get him back in here and ask him a few questions about the tenor of this campaign uh, that we're seeing, particularly in this in in the attorney general race. I mean, some of these ads are just getting a little ridiculous, uh, in my opinion.